Today we're gonna to take a look at a limited edition Mustang so rare you've probably never heard of it. This is a 1969 Mustang Limited Edition 600. Now, 1969, Ford was facing a lot of competition and sales were slowing for the Mustang. So they made a bunch of special editions for certain areas of the country to try to grow sales. The Limited Edition 600 was designed to grow sales in the Philadelphia region. Now, we all hope 600 would be the horsepower, but really, it was just their sales goal of selling 600 units to new Mustang owners. Now, I'll be honest, I honestly did not know much about the Limited Edition 600 until a few years ago when I met Don. Now, Don is the president of Berks County Mustang Club, the owner of this Limited Edition 600, and also probably the foremost expert on the Limited Editions. Now, what makes it a Limited Edition 600? I mean, obviously we have the sticker on the fender, but what else is unique about these cars? What's unique about the 600 is it was part of a national sales program called the Mustang Stampede in the spring of 1969. The Philadelphia district took it a step further and added bright colors. This is flower power red and there's groovy green. Uh, in addition to that, they equipped it with the uh, sports appearance group, which included the hood scoop, the side stripes, the white wall tires, full wheel covers and AM radio. Now, as far as, like you said, the color, you had the flower power red, which obviously this is, and then the groovy green, but was there any other limitations? Were they available in convertibles, fastbacks, coupes? Uh, they were only available in sports roof and uh, coupe. Okay. Uh, many of the coupes came through uh, with uh, vinyl tops, so they simulated the convertible. Okay, now as far as engines too, now yours is a 206 cylinder, I believe, correct? correct? What, could you get any engine? Could you get a 351, a 302? You could get uh, any engine. Uh, most of them were pre-ordered by the dealers, so they were six cylinders, 200s and 250s. There were many that were 302s, and there was one 351 Mach 1 two barrel in the promotion as well. Now, knowing these cars like you do, do you know where that Mach 1 is? Is that car still around? Uh, I had talked to an original owner of it from the 70s and um, he, I tracked it down to about 1981 and then from there the, the trail went cold. Somebody probably has it, restored it and yep. has no idea what they or, actually had. Or it's gone. Or it's gone. That happens a lot too. Now, uh, transmission options, were they all autos? Were the three speeds, four speeds? I mean, what options were available there? Many of them were automatics. There were also ones that were three speeds and four speeds. Now, as far as the breakdown, I mean, obviously this is the flower power, you said there's a groovy, and I know you have a groovy green one as well that you're working on. Is there any, does anybody know what the breakdown is on which color is more popular, which engine was more popular? I mean, it looks like most of these were basically base models that they kind of gussied up to make them more attractive to owners, but is there any kind of known breakdown on those cars? Uh, not at this moment. Uh, the, the way they were ordered from Ford, they were uh, spread across four different DSOs. And um, from that, there's one DSO we haven't found any cars on, so we don't know if those cars were green or they were red. Okay, so guessing there's probably a 50-50 mix-ish, but nobody will ever know. Right. Many of them were six cylinders because uh, the dealers pre-ordered them for the promotion. They made more money on a cheap six cylinder. And they were a good commuter car. Right. I mean, it was, it was, if you wanted to get your foot in the door back in the day, you know, this is what you did. Just like the EcoBoost today, that's the affordable Mustang. Now, were there any other options? I mean, this one I can see has the hubcaps on it. Uh, were, was the Magna 500 wheel an option? Were there any other things you could add to the package? Or was it kind of like, here's how we ordered them, take it or leave it? Well, the cars that were, were pre-ordered were basically ordered with the Sport Appearance Group, which included the, the scoop, the, um, the side stripes, full wheel covers, white walls, AM radio. It seems like the, um, nobody really was ordering this. So you didn't walk into a Ford dealer and order a limited edition 600. The dealers had already ordered these cars, and I think it sounds like they had them on the lot and the goal was for someone to see one of these bright colors and stop and ask about. There were special ads in the newspaper telling people that they could be one of 600 people to own one of these special cars. To make it seem so like, yeah. go down to your Ford dealership and... Um, so fear of missing out was a thing even in the 60s. Yeah, and if you came in, didn't like the color, and they could upsell you into a, a Galaxy or LTD, 
dealership. Or a Mach 1 or, right. or whatever else is on the lot at the time. But if you really like the color and you like the promotion package, uh, there were some orders left over so you could order some of those cars. All right, so you know what makes it a 600 package. Now tell us about your car. You've had this car a long time from what you told me. Uh, yes, this was my first car. I've owned it for 40 years now. And um, it's one of the 503 of the 600 sales goals. Yeah, I know the goal was 600 and they didn't quite make it there. Well, I went to a, a used car broker. He had this listed and my dad was familiar with the, with the uh, 206 cylinder cars. This was a 206 cylinder car. So $700 of my saved money, it was mine. It was painted dark green, okay. not an Earl Scheib paint job. So when you got it, you had no idea. It was just a six cylinder 69 fastback. No, the only clue really to it was that the, underneath the trunk and underneath the hood was this bright orange. Okay. Um, actually wrote a letter to Ford uh, back in 1982 saying, I have this car, I don't know what it is. What I had done was there was a, the real one of the original decals was still underneath the Earl Shot paint job. They painted over the decal. They painted over the decal. That's quality work right there. <laughs> yeah. And I thought maybe this is just an STP sticker. Uh, so I took some yeah. paint reducer. People always put stickers on their cars back then and still do to this day. So took some paint reducer. Um, and then this limited edition 600 decal started to come up. And uh, so then it really got me going. It's like, what is this? All right, so once Ford got back to you and told you what the car was and you learned more about the limited edition 600 at the time, did you make a plan to restore it back to original at that point? I mean, was it still your driver then? It was my daily driver. Uh, I drove it back and forth to college. Uh, it became a Flintstones mobile. Rust had taken its Pennsylvania toll. winters. Yeah. Yep. I had stopped driving the car, um, started to work on it, torn it, torn it apart, and my daughter came along and the, the project stalled. Um, Again, a very familiar story, yeah. I'm sure, for a lot of people watching. Yeah. Um, and then started to get back into it, learned how to weld on this thing, um, restored it to a decent uh, restoration. So how old is this restoration that we're looking at? The car looks beautiful. I mean, I've seen this thing in magazines. I know it was in the museum for a while. Yeah. Pretty much as you see it, a little over 20 years old. I had it painted in 98. This is the way it came out of the booth. No final rub down. This is just the way it is. And I am more than pleased I'll say with the it. paint presents really, really, for a 20 year old paint job, you wouldn't know by looking at it for sure. It's showing its, showing its age a little bit, but you would expect But you drive this car. I do drive the car. So what are the future plans for this car? Like I said, the paint's still beautiful, the car presents well. I don't think you're ever gonna restore this one again, but what is your plan for this car in the future? I mean, stay in the family? I'm um, sure it will stay in the family. Um, I enjoy the car, I drive it. I'm restoring a groovy green sports roof right now. Do you have a matched pair? I have a matched <laughs> pair. Um, it'll be, I'll be looking forward to having those two together at the car show. Thank you for bringing out this beautiful car today and giving us a you know a little history on this 600. I know a lot of us, I didn't know. I'm sure a lot of our viewers also didn't know about this car. Also, if you have a special edition Mustang and want to see it here in a video, let us know in the comments below.